from Ms. Kim's class. Welcome to Poem in a Pack a Day. Um, in a moment, each of us will have a chance to come up and share a poem into the microphone. And remember, as people share their poems, to be respectful and listening and celebrate their poem with snaps at the end, or you can do a quiet clap. We are recording our session so that your families can watch it later. And if anybody chooses to join us live, they'll be in the Zoom. If anybody turns their camera on, I'll put it up on the screen. But right now, we don't have anyone who is live with their camera on at the moment. So we're going to have this picture up here on the screen. So I'm going to start us off with a poem. And notice that I'm sitting right in front of the microphone. And I'm speaking up so that my voice makes it through my mask and into the microphone so that we can hear. Okay. Here we go. This poem is by Bobby Katz, and it's called A Pocket Poem. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you and nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. And that is a poem in your pocket. So friends, um, did, you, Kim, did you already have an order in mind or can we just start? I'm just gonna go down the road right. and I know some of us are not passing. Yep. Okay. We'll pass and then it will, at the end, we'll give you a chance in case you change your mind uh, to come up again. Okay, so we'll just kind of start here at the front and go down the road. Are you ready? Pass. Is there any shape on? Come on. And then you can move that microphone down so it's, there you go. Okay. Heart and face strong, I will be in faith. I will reach for the cross and touch the moon. Along the way, I will push off the ground and into the earth. My heels will dip. I will enter the sky and will come down up the bright of the day. Toucan can can by Ken Nesbitt. If a toucan has a tutu, she can do the can can dance. The can can is a dance that tutu toucans do in France. When a toucan does the can can, two can 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 too. So if you have a tutu too to can can, so can you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. That's very nice. Wait. Mari? Ava? Yeah. Mayada? Do you want to read us the part that you have? No? Thomas? Addy? Yeah. Now, the people who have shared so far, did anything terrible happen to them when no. they were reading their poem? Everybody's very supportive. It's, you know, anybody can do it. No, Nothing to be scared of. Jada, you want to share? Okay, go ahead. Um, my poem is called Bread, and I wrote it. Bread, bread, bread. I can't eat anything said when I get out of bed. Just, just, just. It's what I love the most. If I had Instagram, that's what I would post. <laughs> Boys hey, and girls, epic ginger bear, rice to Lonnie, awesome, and Asian, and by the Jacob March. 
Um, please give me one dollar. Come on. No one? <laughs> Come on. Um, I wrote this one myself. Every day I eat. Every day I eat. Every day I eat. Sometimes I even try to eat sweet, but it never works. I eat mice and sheep. I try to eat 100 pounds of meat, but it never works. Day after day, I eat and eat. By year three that I'm in this house, I am as fat as a cat for a little white meat. Um, I just went off the internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my teacher ate my homework. My teacher ate my homework, which was rather odd. He snibbled it and smiled with an approving sort of nod. It took a little nibble, then looked confused. But then he had somewhat of a big, larger butt, and then had a thoughtful chew. I think he must have liked it, for he really wolfed it down. He licked all of his fingers, and I said, you pass. I guess this has a radio in cooking class. <laughs> Got this one off Wikipedia. <laughs> it's called beans. Beans, beans. Good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. Eat those beans that we got from you. <laughs> <laughs> by Shel Silverstein. If you're a dreamer, come in. If you're a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hooper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer, if you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. But we have some black skulls and tails to spare. Come in, come in. Anybody else that would like to would like to share? Okay, but what I'm looking for is somebody to raise their hand, not somebody to point their finger at somebody else. Anybody else? Okay. No, thank you. 